Time now for Weather Watch, brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors and WSR Insurance. Matt Makins here, time for another Weather Watch. In this one, I want to break down what happened in November and how it's going to carry over into December. So we'll have your December outlook this week. For November, it may surprise a lot of folks, but uh, we talked about this breakdown in a previous C to C, but it was going to be colder than normal for the Northwest, warmer than average for the East, and that's pretty much how it played out. But the surprising thing was, was just how cold it became, say the second half or so of November, especially around the Great Lakes. We had all that lake effect snow and for the East. But bottom line was the warmth that we had early in the month offset that cooling later in the month. So eastern U.S. was warmer than average in November, and we also had the colder than average conditions across mostly the, the central and northern rocky region there across the west. What about precip? Uh, we did have some valuable water throughout Texas into Florida, although in sections of Florida, obviously with a hurricane situation recently, we could probably taper off on some of that rainfall. We don't need to do any more uh, flooding. Uh, for sections of California, had some wetness, the Great Basin as well, and an area from about uh, the Flint Hills of Kansas on up toward the Great Lakes had some water too. Very hit and miss, kind of sporadic in areas throughout the course of November. Where are we going in December? Well, the pattern overall kind of remains the same where the focal point of the colder air is going to try to stay focused as it was in November, across the northwest. We are going to spread in some colder temperatures across the northern tier throughout the month uh, that may linger later in the month. And then also down to the south, likely warmer than average. But that does not imply that some of the cold bursts that move through the plains won't also reach you. So yes, I do believe the southern tier will be warmer than average for December, but don't be shocked if a cold front comes through to, to quickly cool you down too. But again, kind of focusing on the northwest there with the coldest of temperatures. Precipitation. December, January into February, that's classically when we start to see kind of our, our most amount of water for sections of California. Uh, so it's going to be potentially wetter than average, but the Santa Ana's, the direction of the wind may limit the moisture really on one side of the Sierras or the other. It's not going to blanket everybody. Parts, isolated parts of the, the Rockies will have some moisture. And then another swatch here from uh, just outside of Dallas and Oklahoma City, kind of wrapping up, trying to get into the Ohio Valley. Drier than average, some of the southern plains and sections of Florida. That's your week's Weather Watch. I'm Matt Makins. We'll see you the next time. Weather Watch is brought to you by Ag Risk Advisors, with you no matter the weather, and by WSR Insurance providing insurance solutions for more than a century. Visit their websites for more details.